This part of the video is going to describe how we fit the wedges on the ridges, etc. Okay, because so because it's a set set out, it can end up being that most probably it will be a short course on the top. So you cut your short course in, you grab the wedge, place it in so it's nice and flat. Like that, you don't want it on an angle, you want it flat. Like that, so it locks in, it won't go anywhere. And then the wedge, the ridges just lock in to each other like that. We end up leaving it like this, and we put our mud like that because it's so low. We find that if we're, if we're doing with the mud, it's just it's easy just to fill in a small hole with a little bit of mud. So excellent. Um, oh, and the other thing, if if ends up being that your short course, sometimes a short course can be only as small as that and obviously your wedge goes past it it's not a good look it doesn't look good having your wedge going past it if it's end up being smaller so if, if you do end up having to cut it you need to fix it with a bit of glue or something so it doesn't slide out but effectively we don't we don't really allow that it looks sort of ugly mm. that's if you end up being that you've got to do a little a smaller short course at the top right. you, <laughs> you want it you know there at the there at the most up there there, 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 but not like that. Right, the whole objective of having these wedges is to actually stop that high uh, mortar which goes down into the uh, actual well otherwise in here. You, otherwise you have to fill in a big hole. Which is big in there. So like that. that's good. It's nice and clean and tidy. Yeah. Boom. Brilliant. Thank you.